Hello everybody and a warm welcome back to Elm Creek for Farming Simulator 22 Wheel of Fortune Edition with me, Wasteland Gaming. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Elm Creek and the Wheel of Fortune edition of this Let's Play. So, after the first episode you saw us obviously do the farm build, we got um, our farm built up and uh, yard built up at the top of the map over there. Now's the time to start getting on with all the farm work. So, as you can see I've been busy, I've been buying a load of stuff. So. We have a fair few things. Obviously, I bought this last episode on the the sales, and um, so that's uh, that's ready to go. Um, but yeah, and obviously our little tally handler over here. But everything else is new, and some of our mods as well. So these got the Vicon Converland pack that was on FS19 got released as mods by Giants um, this week. So. We have got those installed. Uh, same with this this Bradle uh, spreader here got released as a mod as well. So we've got that. And then this is a grass roller that seeds as well, which I thought would be useful for our grass fields. And we've also got ourselves uh, a animal trailer, which again is another mod that came out this week. So we've got a few bits and bobs here. I've already loaded up the trailer with a couple of bales. I bought myself a bale fork and we've got fertilizers and limes and spreaders and herbicides uh, and a whole variety of things here that we need to get up to the yard. But before we do that, I thought I'd show you what tractors we've got as well. So I've gone for John Deere. So we've got John Deere 7R 350. We've gone for a McCormack. Uh, this is, sorry, the X7, so we've got one of them, and we've got a John Deere 7810, and this is going to be our sort of uh, spraying and fertilising tractor, so um, that's kitted out with uh, row crops. This is mainly going to be used for grass work, hence the communal tyres on it, and this is our workhorse for the farm that will do most things. This hits 388 horsepower, so yeah, it will be pretty handy I think so first jobs really what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get over to our fields just over here so if we go onto the map and uh, dum dum these fields two fields here if we look at their state just now they both need lime but I'm not going to be able to put that on just now because they're growing um, they don't need plowing and they don't need weeding, but they do need, well, field 33 does need fertilizing. So we're going to fertilize that field. Then we're going to go up to here and we're going to have to do some work on these fields. But actually, where is it? There we go. So these two fields can be cut for grass as well. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to make some hay for the sheep which we haven't bought yet um, and then what I'm going to do is uh, make some silage bales and sell them because yeah it's always worth having some money in the bank I have done one little change since uh, since the last episode actually so rather than having just the general silo in there I've changed it for meridian bin and yeah I'm going to get the augers uh, and for that um so probably in the next episode because i won't need them uh, until then so i think what we'll do we'll jump in the 7810 um, and we'll put the weight on the front and yeah we'll get straight into fertilizing i think 
So I'm going to use the sprayer for this. Uh, just because it's got. So oh, oopsie daisy. So just because it's got um, such a good working width. Um, I haven't repaired this yet actually. So I should maybe. We'll fill it up first. Yeah, I'll probably repair this for, and then. In fact, ugh, no, we're fine. We'll just get on with it. Um, and then, yeah, we can get straight into straight into the field work. So, 90%. Here we go, so 4,500 litres. So, if we get ourselves down this way. And across the, the wee little brook. There we go. Now we'll just head down to the field up here. So, this field here for, is fully fertilised, so we can't do much more with that. It would have been great to have some lime on it, but sadly we can't get the lime just now. Um, so I'll have to wait until we've harvested, I think. Let's zoom out a bit. There go. I'll just adjust this. And away we go. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this series. Like I said um, in the last episode, yeah, it is going to be, yeah, there's going to be certainly some random choices in there, but I want to leave that up to you guys. You can tell me uh, when I need to spin the wheel because, yeah, the idea of this Let's Play is that the Wheel of Fortune will dictate to a certain extent what happens on the farm. Now, obviously, a lot of choices were made on that first episode um, and we've gone down the route of sheep and cotton um, so those are the those are going to be our main crops but how we sell crops where we sell crops and all that sort of stuff I think will be used on the either by the wheel of fortune or decided randomly by you you guys that are watching so um, let me know what you think um, come up with some ideas, give me a shout on what you think would be a good idea um, to randomise this let's play and just make it a little bit more fun, a little bit more challenging for me um, don't make it too tricky though <laughs> but um, yeah, so what we'll do, we'll get this field fertilised and then we can move on and go and get I think another I think we can fertilise another field, I potentially are um, our cotton field up at the main farm can be fertilised, so we can get around to that. Oh, I don't, I'm not too keen on this articulation on this thing a bit clunky. It's doing the job though. So yes, I've got to get all this kit up to the farm, so I'll do that off camera I think. Uh, we'll get it all settled in and then the rest of this episode we'll get probably get a worker going fertilising and the cotton field and then what we can do while that's happening is go and get our sheep uh, and get them underway and that way we can uh, yeah start producing some wool uh, ready to take to the spinnery I haven't bought the spinnery yet um, and obviously we haven't got a tailor's shop yet so those two things need to be done um, and I need to decide on what plot of land I'm going to use um, to put the tailor shop on as well uh, because yeah, there isn't one on this map so we'll get that done probably in the next couple of episodes as well 
but between then and now or now and then is uh, we've got um, we probably will be close to harvest um, of the first cotton fields um, so we'll need to do that as well um, spin around here So yeah, I think I'll carry on with this, we'll get this finished, um, and then I'll move up to, well I'll do some moving of uh, all the gear and then we'll see up at the cotton field and we'll get that fertilised as well. Right, see you in a bit. I'm in the John Deere then and this is uh, the 7R and yeah this is the last last bits of equipment up to the farm so I've brought all the grass cutting equipment down to here just by the grass fields there we go just turn the beacons off yep so I have brought all the grass cutting uh, and grass equipment down next to the grass field obviously this is ready to cut um, so we can get this cut but what I'm going to do first is just get the the cotton field fertilized and then what we'll do is we'll run over these two fields as well because it was pretty much the working width of the of the field and then yeah we'll see what time we've got after that um, but our sunflowers have now got one layer of fertilizer on which is great so let's just get this going. Okay. So I'm going to let work get on with that one. There we go. Oh, that's kind of it for me. Ooh, hang on. Stop there. I think it's because it's catching on those uh, bushes. Move it up a bit. Let's put it back to you. Hey, bizarre. Right, we just won't look at that just now. <laughs> okay, so let's. Uh, have a look in here so I've brought the roller I've put that in here along with the seed so the seeds in there I brought the herbicide that's just sitting outside so it doesn't mix in the same shed and then round here we have our other stuff so we've got fertilizer in there as well and the lime our spreader and our forks and back on the trailer here we have our two grass bales so I'm going to get these off just now and try this in cab why not hopefully this has got the strength to pick up two yeah there we go So I need to take these over towards the sheep pens. So I'm going to put them just here just now because I knew that would happen. It's already said it's done its job. So let's go and have a look where this where it is. Let's have a look at the fertilization state. Has that actually done it? No. Okay. Well, obviously doesn't like the shape of this field. So I don't know what's happened there. Alright. Let's get this going again. So let's turn that way first. Alright, let's get that up. 
a bit more realistic. Right, it's doing it now. What a pain in the bum. Never mind. Let's get this done ourselves then. And then once this is done, I'm going to get the two grass fields next to me here fertilised. And then we'll move on to a bit of grass cutting, I think. Right, where are we at now? There's a little slice there. Okay, I don't want this to just turn into a fertilising episode. So, I'm going to do the rest of this off camera. And then, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll move on to getting those sheep, I think. Right, see you in a minute. Here we go then, so we're just heading across the map and just in here is the animal dealer. So let's just head down this way and try and get ourselves some sheep. So I think I'm going to go for the Welsh Blacks. Um, Cab. So I think I'll go for the Welsh Blacks. I've not really done anything with animals so far, other than a few chickens on uh, the new game. So so hopefully, oh look at that! There's a there's a collectible. There's a question. So, Wheel of Fortune or Viewer's Decision, should I just pick up collectibles when I see them or should I leave them where they are? You decide. Right, let's, I need to get some animals. So, let's go down all the sheep. Right, Black Welsh Mountains, they're the ones I want. So, I'm going to get the older ones and Should be able to max this out, so 12,000. Right, that's as many as I can get in. So there they are, all sitting in there nicely. Bar bar black sheep. Fantastic. Put the cover on them, it's quite a warm day, so turn the indicators off. I do like the, the strobe lights on this, this combo here. So, I'm going to head back to the farm. It's going to take a few loads this because we've got um, yeah, quite a big capacity within our, within our pens, so We'll get adults in and then go from there. So I think, yeah, I think if I go down along the freeway here, we should be able to, can't really go on a freeway with a tractor though, can I? Let's just risk it. <laughs> we will see. Depends if I get peeped at. Right, indicate on. Okay. So, this should take us round to our farm, hopefully. And uh, yeah, we can get going with it. So, I, I meant to say, um, yeah, we've just been doing a. I've just literally yesterday recorded a, a multiplayer episode with my good friend Cobbler Farms. 
and uh, it was on his dairy farm uh, in Erlengrat in the Swiss Alps and yeah it, it was really really good fun I really really enjoyed it um, I haven't done much multiplayer before and it was yeah it was a great experience actually really really good uh, you can check out the episode I'll just put a wee uh, card up at the top there but um, yeah I'm thinking of making this into a multiplayer map as well and doing a similar thing so yeah people can come and visit and help me out on this uh, this farm as well obviously it's quite small just now uh, but it is going to get bigger and yeah I will need a hand eventually so yeah in a few episodes time I might uh, put it across to multiplayer and then yeah we can go from there uh, so yeah if you're keen let us know um, and uh, yeah I've got links to my discord and Facebook pages on the description I've also just set up a donating donate PayPal donations page as well so yeah um, any donations would be much appreciated any money that I make will go straight back into buying hardware and stuff to, to do the best job I can with these videos um, but, um, yeah let me know what you think right I need to get this in so I think it's this end actually We'll go for the small one first. We'll fill that up. Pretty sure this is it. There they all are, the beauties. Fantastic. Right, let's let them out. There we go. So, all ten, move to husbandry. Fantastic. Right. So what I need to do now is turn that off. Shut that out so they don't escape. Uh, we'll give them some food. So, maybe try one bale to start with, see where that takes us. Ooh, in here. Now, I love this animation when they first come in here. So, let's check, there we go, so total grass, hay, have I bought grass bales instead? That grass bale? It is as well. I thought I bought hay bales. That's a bit confusing. Oh well, right. Let's put this one over here in preparation for the other ones. So that's took all of that. Okay. So what I'll do, I'm going to set up a, a little bit of a time lapse. We'll get all the sheep in, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in a little bit. I think. Right. Enjoy the music.
fantastic. So, final load going in. We'll just uh, reverse these guys in. What I've decided to do, I've decided to have a bit of an experiment. We've gone for some Swiss brown blacks. So, these guys were a bit cheaper, um, but as far as I'm aware, they don't produce as much wool. But I've got a very good reason why I've decided to go for these different types of sheep, which I'll share with you in just a second. So I'm going to put seven of them in there. And that gives us 32, which is half a, half a pen's worth. And then we'll put the last couple into the other pen. So, the reason I've gone for them is, so Welsh, Welsh Blacks um, takes me back to my childhood and yeah, spending time in North Wales and seeing, seeing the black sheep out on the hills there, so that's why I've gone for them. Um, plus I know that they do produce quite a lot of wool as well, which is, uh, which is always a good thing for this, uh, for this series. Um, select and uh, we've got three left so move them there we go so and then the swiss brown black mountain sheep uh, also called jura chef um, which and they are a swiss swiss breed um, and yeah they are from the jura sort of the jura part of the alps swiss alps which I have been to and is an absolutely beautiful place um, and have some good memories of a family holiday there so that's the reason I've gone for for the Juras as well and um, the the Swiss Black Mountains but they're all in there the if we look at the animal screen now the main big pen is got here yeah, these bad boys in there and they're looking okay already growing nicely and yeah we've got the three swiss blacks in there and then our smaller pen here in fact no that's the other way around isn't it the big big pen is this one so there's yeah we've definitely got to get um some more food into there so i think next episode we'll uh we'll go for it we'll get some more Bales made. I think what I could do, in fact, I'm going to move that bale just now. Let's just turn that off a second. So I'll use the the baby tally handler. Grab this bale here because they obviously don't need as much. And I'll put it in this one. And that should get us most of the way to fully fully fed. And we'll see. Once we put it in, I guess. There we go. So how's that looking now? Perfect. So that's that's them um, got enough food to keep them going now. Fantastic. So It's amazing how they've just increased by 10% just by the time I got all those uh, got all those um, sheep in there. Well, that's okay. That's fine. I'm going to put this over here. Just out of the way. It's a bit of a mess around here at the moment. I will have a bit of a tidy up, I think. Um, but that's the sheep in. That's the sheep got food. And... Uh, yeah, sets up nicely for the next episode, which will involve a bit of um, a bit of grass cutting, I think. So I'm going to put this down the side here just now, just out of the way. I've put the sprayer into the workshop here. I've not fixed it up yet, um, but I thought, yeah, we'll do that start the next episode or something and then there are a bunch of contracts to do at the moment as well but I think I'm just going to hold off on them just now we've got plenty of money in the bank to do stuff so there's no 
real point in going crazy on the contracts. Um, but yeah, we could certainly look at doing some in the future, I guess. But that's all the fields fertilised, all ready to go. This one needs cutting, those two need cutting next episode. And like I said on the first episode, what I think we'll do is we'll cut a bunch for hay for these guys and then the rest I'm going to cut for silage and yeah we'll get some silage bales made and go and get them sold at the biogas plant uh, but yeah I think that'll do for now we will see you probably yeah fairly soon actually I'll try and get another episode out this week um, for, for here and uh, yeah if you've enjoyed the episode don't forget to hit that like button if you want to subscribe to the channel please do and if you want to share or comment you're more than welcome to and i will get back to you as soon as i can but in the meantime from elm creek take care of yourselves and happy farming all the best <laughs>